I don't know about you, but I sense His presence so strong in this place. And I know it's across the airwaves as well in every one of your homes. I want to read something that I believe the Spirit of the Lord is speaking to us tonight. In Matthew chapter 9, the call is going out tonight to so many people. The love of God, the purpose of what we were created for. We're about to experience the manifest power of God in signs, wonders, and miracles taking place right here. You better get People you know, family and friends, to watch this channel because in the next three hours, I want you to understand there are going to be great, great manifestations of God's goodness. The supernatural is going to be manifest. We've prayed, we've believed, and I know that God is faithful to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ever ask or think. But in the book of Matthew, chapter 9, verse 35, the, the Bible says, And Jesus went to all the different cities and villages, teaching in the synagogues and proclaiming, the Bible says, the good news. What is the good news? The gospel. What are we doing tonight? We're proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing all kinds of disease and every weakness and infirmity. Jesus is in the house. The Holy Spirit is here. Where the Holy Spirit is, there is going to be a move of signs, wonders, and miracles. Every sickness, every ailment, every infirmity. Verse 36 goes on to say these words, and when he saw the masses, the people, he was moved with pity and sympathy for them because they were bewildered, harassed, and distressed, and dejected and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Then Jesus says to his disciples in verse 37, the harvest is indeed plentiful, but the laborers are few. So pray to the Lord of the harvest to force out and thrust laborers into his harvest. You see that yet tonight, you're watching at home, wherever you're watching. The call of God is going out tonight for laborers for His harvest. The Bible says we need to pray. I'm going to ask you now to begin to pray. I want you just wherever you seated right now to begin just to, to pray with me. And I want you to believe God that tonight as we cast a net as we cast a vision, understand this wherever you are. The call of God is something that when it comes on your life, you can never do anything else but pursue the call of God. Ask any man of God sitting here. Any one of us could have had an opportunity to do anything else. In fact, many of us were doing something else. But the Spirit of God came, the dove, the voice, His presence, descended upon us. I'll never forget the moment when the call of God came on my life. 
I was sitting in my motor car. It was a lunch break and I was, I was serving back then two years of compulsory national service. And there was a lunch break taking place and I was far through the process already. And I was sitting in my car and I was crying out to God. I can remember it as clear as can be. Saying, Lord, what would you have me do with the rest of my life? I've got national service about to come to an end. I, I need to know what to do with the rest of my life. And I felt and I heard the audible voice of God when he called me. Much like I'm speaking to you tonight. And the Spirit of God spoke to me and said, Andre, I want to use you. I need you. For the fields are white with harvest, but the laborers are few. And there and then, when I heard the voice of the Lord, the course of my life was set. I did not have to pray about it. I did not have to think about it. I just knew God had called me. At the end of this year, we come up for about 29 years of ministry. I started a few months before we got married. We've been married 27 years. So we've just celebrated my 28th year of ministry. I'm coming up to being in full-time ministry 29 years. Full-time. And I want you to understand and I want you to realize across the network and all over, if I had not responded to the call of God at that moment, I want to ask you the question, would we be sitting in this room tonight? I'm not saying God can't use other people. But anyone else, God would have given a strategy and might have been different to the strategy that was my mandate for my call. You are the fruit of Every one of you at home watching by television are the fruit to my obedience and Jenny's obedience to the call of God. You might be sitting at home or in this room and the call of God's come to you and you've run the opposite way because your mind gets in the way. How am I going to pay for this? How am I going to do this? How am I going to? And you ask all these questions. You cannot ask those questions when the call of God comes on your life. When God says, I have need of you, what you need to do is respond in obedience. He works all the details out. Yeah, Sharon, pursuing a music career, gifted, but God calls her. You can't run from the call of God. God needs your gift in the ministry. If I went down the line with each pastor, each minister, yeah, they'd say exactly the same thing. And today the Spirit of God is calling you. Right now in that living room, right now, there's somebody lying in bed right now. You've got the covers pulled up over you. You've got a checkered blanket. Checks. Don't get a fright now. There's a checkered blanket that's over your lap right now, over your legs, in your bed. It's got squares. It's checkered. Looks like a Scottish quilt, kilt, whatever you call it. I'm seeing the picture right now. God's saying to you, I need you. You've run long enough. Come home.
You're sitting in this meeting tonight. You're pursuing something right now, but God is calling you. He's saying, I need you. The harvest is white. The laborers are few. And the call of God is going out. 1995, we'd been serving God. We'd been married three years. I'd been in full-time ministry four. 1995, I'll never forget. Dr. Rodney Howard Brown was at the World Trade Center in Johannesburg. I was involved in the TV crew. I was busy producing the programs for him for the event. Jenny was on camera. And there came a call. There came a call. To answer the call of God, to say, God, I'll do anything you want me to do. I'll go anywhere you want me to go. Use me, Lord. It was a time of consecration. And I'll never forget 1995, that day, Jenny and I, I told her, lock up the camera. She said, I want to go. I said, I'm going with you. We're going together. She locked up the camera. We had the OB truck at that point over there. I said, the OB truck can go on autopilot. I'm walking. Because at that point in our lives, God had prepared us. We were serving Him in ministry, but we knew there was more. We knew there was a new direction God was taking us in to step out into all that God had for us. There have been distinct moments when the call of God comes and He shifts you and moves you in the direction, and tonight God is calling you. You say, what must I do? You've got to get ready to be used of Him. This is what I want to do. If you're in this room and you know inside of you that you are called, that God is wanting you to be used, you, you, you might be the next Billy Graham. You might be the next Reinhard Bonker. You might be the next Benny Hinn. I don't know who you are. You might be the next Vessel de Bruyne. You might be the next Brad Norman, Edward Duku, Nicky van der Westerhuizen. You might be the next Andre Rabert, Bert Vidler. You, 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 you could be someone that is wrapped up with the potential of all that God has for you, but you've not made the decision to follow the call. And I'm going to do something right now. I felt so strongly the Spirit of God speak to us. As the Faith Broadcasting Network, if you respond today to the call of God, we will give you a full bursary to come to the Faith Bible Institute and the River Bible Institute right here. You will have to pay for certain books and you'll have to pay for certain things. There are things you do have to pay for and I need to put that qualification in now. But all of your fees, everything else for the next three years, of your life. I'm talking about a degree. I'm not talking about just a piece of paper. I'm talking about an internationally recognized degree where you prepare yourself for what God has for you. I want to make that offer available to you. But coming on the screen is an email address. You need to send an email within the next 24 hours to this email address.
from you listening right now. If you send an email to rbi.admin at myriver.com, we will honor you with a full bursary for three years. Because this is how strong we feel the call of God for you to be raised up in the purposes and plans of God. If you're in this house tonight and you know God's calling you, I want you to get up from your feet and I want you to come. You know you're called, come. You know you're called, come. Come stand here. You know you're called. You know you're called, come. Get a big group for me, please. Big group, big group. You know you're called, come. God is stirring your heart right now. I want a group, please. I want a group. You know God is stirring your heart right now. Come. Beyond Adventure students right now, you say, well, I'm, I'm on beyond. Listen, there are, there are many of you, I see the fire of God on you. You should be on your feet and you should be here because you know the call of God is strong upon your life. Get up from where you are. Come. I'm not ever going to beg anyone to come and follow Jesus. Right now your mind's playing with you. You're thinking of every reason why you can't. Get up right now. Come. If you know you called to say, Lord, I want to serve you. I want to give you everything. I want to, I want to be trained, raised up. I want to be used of you. Come. There's a number on the screen. You can call that number. Dr. Brad Norman, come here quickly. Dr. Brad runs an amazing Bible school in England. If you live in England, Dr. Brad has just told me and given me the thumbs up. They will do exactly the same for you in England, in the Bible school in England. Tell us. If you're living anywhere in England, we'll also offer you a three-year degree program with a full bursary. The details will be on the screen. Contact us for the next seven days. That offer is open. Pray about it, or more than likely, the best response is right now. If you're sensing that call, or call the numbers on the screen, and we'll have partners waiting to give you more information. Thank you. Isn't God good? Come on. Isn't God good? You might be in America, you say, hey, I want to go to Bible school. Listen, if the call of God is on your life in America, don't let nations apart stop you. Don't let nations around and think, well, it's too far or anything. We'll make a plan. We'll see how we can help you even in the USA. All you need to do is you need to write, email us, rbi.admin at myriver.com. I'm just sensing right now there's another three or four people that should be here. There's faces that are we missing. I want you right now to think about this. This is going to be the last moment we're going to give. You see that when you follow the call of God, it's one of the biggest tugging decisions that you'll ever make in your life because you're laying down everything of your desire, your purpose, your plan, and what you're doing is you're pursuing Him. You're pursuing Him. Now, I know God raises up dentists and doctors and all that, but when you follow the call of God, you lay all that down and you say, God, I'm going to serve you with everything. That's why you're here. That's why you're making this consecration call. That's why you're saying, Lord, I don't know how, but you do it. I want every one of you to look at me and you at home as well. I want you to look at me because I'm going to pray with you in a moment. You see, for you at home, I can't get to you. 
but you've got to send us an email. You've got to call the number on the screen. All the details are there, right there, River Bible Institute. You can call them in the morning. You can speak to them. It's an office hour number. Write down that information. Pastor Ron, when is the next intake for the Bible school? 10th of July. 10th of July and then in January again. If you can't make the 10th of July, you can make the January intake. Beyond Adventure, you guys can finish your year out and come. This offer is open to you for January. For those of you that aren't in that form of commitment, July is open for you to join and be a part. The call of God is the most powerful thing that will ever happen to you short of your salvation. I want you to understand that. Right now, I want you to close your eyes and lift your hands. Close your eyes, sweetie. Let the Holy Spirit descend on you right now. Let him seal that call inside of your life right now. You at home, just open your hands right now, wherever you're sitting, and just let the fire of God, let that call just be sealed on your life. This is what I want you to do with your eyes closed, hands lifted. I want you to pray a prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I've heard your voice. Tonight, I'm writing history. I'm following your call. Everything of my desire, I put aside. And I say, Jesus, it's all about you. My life, My life. I've, given to you. I've given to you at the point of my salvation. But now I give you my hands. I give you my vocals. I give you everything about me. I want you to use me. Whatever you want to do with me, wherever you want me to go, raise me up, Lord. I want a passion for your word like never before. And Jesus, I want to speak your words. I want to win the lost. Let me be a harvester for you not just a little harvester but Lord Jesus I want to be a combine harvester for you it's about souls it's about souls it's about souls thank you Jesus There it is. Just get the passion for souls while you're standing here under the anointing right now. Because it's the passion for souls that will drive you to keep going. It's the only thing that I can hold on to every tough day I have, every frustrated day I have, every moment when things are, are, are bitter and painful and when people say ugly things about me and when people have accusations leveled against me. It's the only thing I can hold on to is the drive and the passion for souls souls money is not a motivation you will never get rich in the ministry but when you serve him and when you do what he calls you to do you will become wealthy you will become prosperous you will have everything that you ever need when you put him first 
It's about true riches. The call of God. The call of God. It's going across the airwaves into your home right now. The call of God. On Facebook, we've posted a post. We said, we've asked you on Facebook, do you wish to follow the call of God on your life? Post over there. Send us your email address, even in Facebook. Just quickly put a comment in. Send us your email address and contact details. We'll email you. We'll get in contact with you. But send us an email. Go to the website. Download. All the information is on the screen. And watch what God's going to do. That's his anointing. That's his power. Thank you, Jesus. This is a passion for the lost that's coming on you right now. A love for the lost like never before. You'll never be able to do what you do without that passion and love for the lost. Get ready. Now listen. Put your hands down. Look at me. Our gift to you as a ministry, if you choose, is to come to this Bible school. And for three years, we'll raise you up. All you have to pay for is your books, certain meals, if you choose to accept them, certain literature and certain stuff that you will need. There are certain costs administratively. There's mission trips you go on. You've got to raise the money to go on the mission trips. There's lots. There's certain things you've got to believe God to raise the money for that. But as far as the theory, as far as the degree, your first year is a certificate, your second year is a diploma, and your third year is a degree. It's a degree that is recognized around the whole wide world. See, I don't ever want money to hold you back. You have to find accommodation. You have to get transportation or whatever. There's things you've got to put your faith out for in this area to be able to come and be part of the Faith Bible Institute. And the River Bible Institute right here. And I want to tell you after three years of your life, if you tap into the anointing of God for those three years, by the time you finish those three years, doors will fly open for you to be used of God. And you will never, ever, for one moment, regret your decision by giving him everything for the next three years. I want you to turn to the right right now. Pastor Ron is the dean of the Bible College. We're going to take you for a few minutes, get your details, give you some literature and information. So I'm going to ask that you move in that direction right now. Come on, let's give them a big God bless you. Just move. Don't go back to your seat. Just go with everyone. You're going to come straight back into the meeting. Come on, look at this. Laborers for the harvest. Laborers for the harvest. Isn't this awesome? The call of God. The call of God. You at home, those details are on the screen. You do what God's calling you to do. Come on.